another way to practice E-flat clarinet is to practice etudes that you already know or finger exercises, something that's already in your ear so that you can get used to the E-flat clarinet. Um, some things that I like to do are the Opperman velocity studies, just so that you can get a sense of the sound that you want to produce and you can hear what is out of tune on your clarinet. I think this is the most important thing for E-flat clarinet is knowing what is out of tune on your instrument so that you can come up with an alternate fingering that is actually in tune. So I like to practice etude to get myself warmed up. Another thing that is instrumental for every E-flat player is Peter Hadcock's E-flat clarinet book. Um, all the excerpts that you need to know are in that book, and in it he has pages of alternate fingerings, which are the key to E-flat clarinet. Um, knowing what works for your instrument, what uh, alternate fingerings work for your instrument are so important to um, uh, knowing how to play in tune, what plays in tune, and oftentimes you can think something is in tune and then you get into the orchestra and it is not in tune, you need to be sharper or you need to be flatter. So for me, I have several different Ds and several different C sharps that I use in any given situation. All in all, the E flat is a very difficult instrument to play, but I think once you know your instrument and you work with it a little bit, uh, work with a setup that is close to your B flat setup, and uh, use your B-flat reads and just keep practicing. It, it's, a, it's a fun instrument to play. There are lots of fun solos. Uh, it's a, usually a very fun voice in the piece, so definitely keep practicing and keep working at it.